How's it going YouTube? My name is LBN and I am back with another Raid Shadow Legends video. You guys liked my other content about Bellower, so we're going to be taking a look at uh, a, a newer champion. He is a legendary, but he was given to us for free just for logging in, and I have heard so much hype about this guy. He's an orc. His name is Artak. Artak? I'm not too sure. You guys can let me know down in the comments below, but we're going to be taking a look at him and seeing if he can sub into one of my already established Hydra teams. I'm not the Hydra Lord like Nubkex or Nub Raids. Um, I do not focus Hydra a ton, but I get I get it done each week. Okay, I'll show you guys where I'm at. I can easily get three chests on, on hard with one key, and I'm trying to get to the point of being able to one, uh, one key brutal so that I can get those six chests a week. So we're gonna sub him in as my DPS champion on my teams and see if we can make it work. Now, my current team, I either use Geomancer or Michinaki as my DPS, both of which are bringing that HP burn. So if I'm subbing him in for another champion other than those two, uh, he would not work well with those two. If, if I'm HP burning with Artok and not Geomancer, we are not getting the full value from Geomancer. And if I'm doing the same with uh, Michinaki, we are not getting the full value out of Michinaki. So let's go ahead and talk about what we're going to be bringing. So I have, I finally got an Inquisitor Shamil. Nothing too good about his build. Build He's pretty slow. Um, Okay-ish crit rate, but not a lot of damage built in. He's just there to be tanky and have a passive honestly so he, he that's all he's there for um i'm gonna bring husk at least i'm gonna try him out he is pretty good uh with the gear so he has a pretty solid relentless set and then he has good accuracy so good accuracy to uh, at least be a backup provoker um but he does that aoe uh enemy max hp attack that's gonna be very good he's very fast full crit rate good damage some very beefy hp not the perfect build. I've seen some much more end game builds for him, but that's good enough for me. Uh, next up, I have Ugo. As you see, I have three Ugos and three Geomancers leveled because um, I figured I would have them on each of my teams, but I really only use the one Ugo. Uh, or I, I use all three Ugos, but I only use the one Geomancer, I should say, because uh, Michinaki is just insane. But uh, here are the Ugo stats. As you'll see, she is in a reflex set. I try to get those um, abilities back more often. Not the fastest, but has great accuracy. She's placing the decreased defense and the leech uh, so that we can stay alive longer and do more damage. And then, let's see. So we're going to have those three. That's three champions. And then the Provoker. I cannot forget the Provoker. An absolute necessity. Now, I have two Provokers that I prefer. Um, and then uh, Molly is kind of like my third backup. But I like Bivolt, but I really like uh, Contra the Cyclone. So we're going to be running this with Contra. There's going to be so many debuffs out, especially because we're going to be placing all these HP burns with Artok. So um, this is going to be the team, and this is her build. She is Reflex. Um, hopefully we can get that to proc on the first turn so we can just keep um, getting that ability, to the, her main ability to recycle. She just applies so many debuffs, um, keeps herself alive because she has so many debuffs applied, and it's just such a great champion to run out this comp. So let's go ahead and gear up our boy Artok. Let's get his masteries done, and uh, let's get his skills booked, and then I will be right back with his build. Luckily, I have all the books. I've been uh, kind of stockpiling some books to make some videos for you guys. Uh, so luckily, I have enough to book him. But it's not during a clan tournament. Or maybe it is. Is there still a clan tournament going on right now? Let's see. Yeah, no. So <laughs> no clan tournament. So that does suck. But um, guys, I'll do anything um, to make a good video for you guys. So let's finish getting this guy booked. And then we will start picking out his gear. Now his gear, I'm thinking I want him very fast. Uh, ooh, why did I do that? Because I want him to um, come around to to restoring his max HP more often, but we'll get into that. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look in the fitting room. We absolutely want him going fast and often, so I'm going to try to see if we can find a relentless set for him. But uh, for the most part, we may, we want to make sure that we have speed boots on him so uh, and some good accuracy. So we're going to look for a pair that also can give crit rate, but I like this pair, even though it's just 40 speed. Um, I do like that it has a little bit more accuracy on it, but you know what? Let's opt in for a little bit more speed and see if we can get there um, with this. So now we are going to be looking for a perception and a relentless set. So now that I have the speed boots on, that is like the step one of a Hydra uh, DPS character. Now let's try to get that set working. Where is relentless? Um, there are so many new stats. Oh, I'm still 
looking for speed boots. Okay, so here is our Relentless gear. I've been playing since the beginning of the game, so I have quite a bit stockpiled, but most of my good pieces are currently on uh, champions. So here's here's what I'm looking for in the build. I'm looking for, like I said, good speed, good accuracy, hopefully a Relentless set, and then we want at least 100 crit rate because his, his uh, passive is going to be stacking up his crit damage. We want him to uh, get m the most value from that. We don't necessarily need to find pieces like this that have uh, the crit damage. I am kind of in the way. Maybe I can move over here. Uh, maybe right here. Uh, yeah, so we don't want to look for pieces like this one that give crit damage. Since he's going to be getting that from his passive, we just want to make sure that we're getting use of that passive. So uh, let's look for some good pieces. I want to look for ones that I've already leveled up uh, preferably. Uh, but we want speed and accuracy for the most part. So let's go and filter for that. So substats, speed and accuracy. And you know what? Crit rate. Let's let's get the most out of it. So we only have one piece, but it's a great piece. Okay, so we're gonna try that on. Let's get rid of the crit rate. Let's get rid of the accuracy first. I think speed and crit are our first choice if we get the, the option to. Um, a resist chest plate, but I think we're going to want him in an HP chest plate. Uh, so nothing going here. Maybe this this piece is not bad, this shield. So we can try that on. Now let's go for speed and accuracy. And let's see what we can find. So nothing new here. So now finally, the final combination of those three is crit rate and accuracy. So uh, that is a pretty good weapon, honestly, for being a blue. Uh, we can try it. Once again, we're just trying things on before we actually uh, commit to anything. An HP glove is enticing. This crit damage glove could be good, uh, but I think we're going to try to at least roll up this this HP percent glove and see if it gets some, yes, some great rolls on it. We do want his HP high, even though he's going to be destroying his own HP. Uh, he will be kind of supplementing that by giving himself some defense percent of with his passive uh, so hopefully we can we can get him to a good enough HP to where if, even if he's down 50% of it, if all that's destroyed, he'll still have enough to survive. So we can try on this piece and then last up will be um, hopefully an HP percent. Uh, let's look for an HP percent chest piece in the perception set. Uh, crit rate's good. Uh, we do need more crit rate. So yeah, let's roll both of these pieces up and see which one just gives us the most crit rate. Because it does feel like, oh, that's not a good roll. It does feel like this is going to be our, our our biggest weakness, is if we can't get up to 100 crit rate. Ooh, that is perfect. Let's go and finish rolling that up. And it was the six star too. So very good. Uh, so let's go ahead and try this on and see how close we get. So we're still not at that 95% since we haven't even done masters yet. Uh, but we're close. Can we make any adjustments here? This piece barely has any crit rate. Let's take a look at the shield. First, let's go ahead and get this up to 16 uh, since we can. Ooh, did not roll into it. And our accuracy is low, but we still don't have a banner. So yeah, let's look for a better shield, why don't we? Let's see. So substats, we want crit rate, and we can just look for that. Hopefully we find a piece, 11%, that'll put us up at 82. Let's roll up this piece to, uh, let's do eight. Hopefully we get a double roll in crit rate. And we did do it for YouTube. Come on, give me the triple. Ah, it was close. Okay, uh, let's try this piece. Come on, give us a triple roll. The accuracy roll would not be bad either. Uh, that's a mediocre piece. Uh, so let's see. Let's just go ahead and try this piece on. It's a good bit more crit rate, but ooh, our speed is suffering. So we're going to have to make up for that in, uh, in the, the amulets. But we might even want to forego this Relentless piece or set and go for more speed. So I don't know. I'm going to be tinkering around with the build, but I'll see you guys after I've found something that I like, and then we'll look at his actual kit. All right, so I finally decided on a build for this guy. I went with Triple Perception uh, just because I really needed that speed to be high. So he's going often, and uh, his accuracy also is very important. We also went with Lore of Steel, which is going to be buffing both of those stats a little bit. Uh, we went Cyclo Magic so that we can hopefully get around to his HP uh to activating his HP burns more often so he, he can get rid of some of that destroyed HP. 
But let's go ahead and really quickly just take one last glance at his skills. So his, his A1 attacks all enemies has a 35% chance to extend the duration of any HP burns, uh, which is great because he applies HP burns. So uh, well, it attacks all enemies two times. This is A3. The first hit has a 75%, but when it's fully booked, it's a 100% chance of placing an HP burn. Now, any champion... That or anything that receives that HP burn will restore 10% of his max HP that's been destroyed. But anyone that resists it or does not accept that HP burn debuff will heal him by 5%. So we want it to be applying every time. That's why we went with a high accuracy. His A2 attacks all enemies, but before attacking, instantly activates any HP burn debuffs on each enemy. So he's going to be blowing them up, combusting them. So that is why we went with Cyclo Magic and would have liked to go with Relentless as well so that we can get chances to restore these two uh, cooldowns to kind of get them cycling more often. So ideally, I think how we're going to want him to work is uh, A3 and then A2 um, and then A1. I, I could see an argument why you go A3, A1 to extend them and then A2. But if we're extending them, uh, we would have, if we're taking that turn to extend them, that's a turn that they're taking away. So we're really not extending them, if that makes sense. Um, but then his passive is kind of a downside. It makes, it basically turns him into a berserker. So uh, whenever an HP burn debuff is activated, destroy this champion's max HP by 5% up to 50%. So he, he can destroy his own, his own HP on top of what the Hydra is already going to be destroying from him. Uh, but... With every bit that he is destroyed, he gains strength. So increasing this or increases this champion's crit damage, damage and defense by one percent for each one percent of their destroyed max HP. So he could be gaining a lot of stats by destroying his HP. Also increases this champion's speed and resist by two for each one percent of their destroyed HP. So he can gain up to fifty percent crit damage, damage and defense percent but he can also gain up to 200 speed and resistance so he's just going to be a stat machine but we just want him pumping out the damage through his hp burns so uh now let's go ahead and put him into the test so let's put him into a, a hydro comp now like i've said my hydro comp is not perfect uh there are still a lot of flaws with it but all right, so let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're gonna be doing hard Hydra. I feel like this is the most accessible for most players. This is what most people do. Um, a lot of people can do normal and then they are trying to push hard Hydra. So let's go ahead and jump into it. We need to one key, we'll need to do over 20.4 million. I think it's doable, but we're gonna to have to auto at first. So this comp that we're using, like I said, we're using these four champions. I forgot to mention the Mithrala, um, but she's in there for the Hex, and she just does shielding. She just all around gives us sustainability and fills the gap that Michinaki would, would have filled if he were in this spot, since he also gives Hex and a little bit of uh, life con or health control. So this is going to be the comp that we're running. We're going to put it on auto after a bit, but I, I at least want to make sure we get these first skills rotated nicely. So... We're going to hopefully apply some good debuffs. Um, let's hope that this decreased defense landed block buffs is important to land. And then let's get that hex out as well. Um, I don't know. Yes, so we will be able to go and we get our HP burn off. And then for our husk, we're actually going to shoot for a provoke and hope that it lands. It did not land. So there's the cleanse. Let's go for a free regroup. This is the only thing that I'm going to full uh, manual through because it is pretty important that he gets his provoke off so that we don't get that cleanse coming out. Um, so everything looks good. Decreased defense did not land here, but that's totally fine. Uh, all right, so there's the hex put out. HP burns landed on all four, that's great. Now let's look for the provoke, come on. Nice, okay, so we at least get one turn of these debuffs sticking around, um, and then that is very nice. We always wanna shoot for this head because um, when it dies, we get our health back, so that is what we're gunning for. But we want this to be provoked, or else it will... Um, ooh, and we all got provoked. That's not good. Or if it's not provoked, it will cleanse the other heads. So as you see, all those provokes coming out gives Inquisitor Shamel some uh, some good targets to, to do damage, but he also gives, uh, he gives turn meter to our Cantra which is great, so we get the cleanse, and let's watch this HP burn 
be exploded. So we are at 734, and here we go. Wow, okay, so he did half a million in one hit. That's pretty nice. Let's let's compare that to Husk, who also did about half a million. So he does about an enemy match HP's worth of damage. Uh, so it's pretty nice, pretty good damage, and all of his hits are AoE. So he just does good things. We're going to put it on auto, however, and we're going to pick this Hydra as our target. So hopefully you guys enjoy this. I'll put on some music, um, try to do what some of the other YouTubers do in this scenario. So uh, thank you guys so much for the support lately. Uh, my Bellaware video has gotten a lot of views and a lot of love lately, and I really appreciate it. So if you guys like raid content let me know by hitting subscribe and liking this video because i'm also trying to make some smite content and i'm kind of seeing which one you guys like the most because i personally love making both forms of content so i'll just give you guys what you guys enjoy the most um, so let me know down below if you like this raid content that's gonna do it for me for now i'll see you guys at the end of this run Ooh, and it is not looking pretty so i'll probably see you guys sooner than i think go ahead and come back on because this is about to come to an end uh, so i'm gonna free regroup and one of the things about just slotting a champion into a, a hydra comp is hydra requires so many different things on a, a, a given comp that it's hard to just do that you can't sub in one dps for another because each deep it, it's so volatile you you need to cover so many bases with each team so um, I am actually going to make another change to this team. So instead of, let's see, instead of, whew, what am I going to take out? Let's, let's take out Husk and let's put in Molly. So this is going to be our backup uh, provoker. And what's great about Molly is she even has the revive. So her, her revive is on a very low cooldown. And this is great to go with Artok, since he's making himself so risky by destroying his own max HP, he's going to be falling over more often, so you want one spot reviver to help with that. 
Now it is going to put us at risk of if our talk gets eaten, who's going to do the damage and uh, we might have to step in and manual at that point because Inquisitor will have to hit the, uh, the eating Hydra's head at that point. But let's just give this a shot. We might have to end up replacing Mithrala as well. But I think this is a good change. Between these two provokers, we'll keep that head locked down while also keeping our talk up and at it. So let's give this another shot. Um, hopefully you guys are fine with this. Uh, but yeah, this whole thing is to test out our talk to see if he is as good as people said he was because everyone was hyping him up so much, but I have yet to use him um, or seen him been used, if that's correct English. But um, yeah, hopefully this comp works a little better with our girl Molly. She is probably uh, my favorite legendary i don't have her in insane gear um just i think immortal and uh, i think just immortal gear that i've gotten from the the clan boss a couple years ago i haven't re-geared her in quite a while um so hopefully this works out and yeah i'll see you guys in one second
All right, so I'll probably skip to the end here soon, but I do want to point out that his max HP burn cleanse from himself, it looks like it also cleansed the max HP uh, destruction from the Hydra head too, because he is completely clean of any destroyed max HP. So that is one thing that kind of sets him apart as a DPSer. So um, very nice. Also notice that um, I believe uh, Shamel was eaten and just the HP burn being on all the Hydra heads made it very easy to break that shield. Obviously, I'm not going to sit here and tell you guys how good HP burn is versus the Hydra, but it, it's reassuring knowing that if your HP burner was eaten, then that the residual HP burns left behind on the Hydras could take away and help get them, uh, uh, I guess, regurgitated, I should say. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and skip to the end. I'm not going to make you guys watch this um, whole thing all the way through, but yeah, like I said, this works a whole lot better, giving ourselves a little bit more security and, uh, you know, forgoing that second DPS slot on the team for just more security and, and helping out our first DPS at least succeed in the first place. That's step one. So um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this comp. But yeah, I'll show you guys the, the final damage and I'll wrap things up. All right, so I've brought you guys back uh, closer to the end of this run. As you see, we do have all of the heads almost at full HP. I did have them under control for quite a while. I was watching the run and they were all basically dead at the same time, but now they're all back and it's not looking great. We all have uh, some destroyed HP, except for Artok. So that's a good thing about him. Um, but it does look like we are about to have some deaths coming our way, but we only need 1.3 million damage left. So um, I figured now is a good time to bring you guys back um, to watch the last couple of rounds of this run and see if it uh, works out. So uh, the question that I was asking for this video is, was Artok worth all the hype? Did he live up to all of that hype? And I'll go ahead and say it, I think he did. I think being able to restore his own destroyed max HP is huge. It is such a big deal in the Hydra because um, if, if it weren't for that destroyed max HP, your teams could probably run indefinitely because uh, there would be nothing bringing you back. Um, and I, I think that makes him a great DPS option. So since you guys should all have him, and there he goes, uh, he just fell over. But since you guys should all have him, since he was a free login champ um, recently, hopefully you've all you've booked him up, especially if you're on a newer account. I mean, you've got him running. I also have him on my alt account, which I haven't showed yet on the YouTube channel. If you want to see more uh, from my alt account, I'll be honest. It, it looks just as pay to win, but it's not as my main account um, because I have not spent much money on that account only to finish some uh, some like tournaments for certain, uh, what are they called, fusion events and stuff. But um, I don't spend much money on that account, if any at all. But I have pulled a Krygia and Cardiel on that account. So I play that account more often because it is more fun. Um, but this one does have all of my maxed champs. And as I was rambling on, you guys saw I just crossed that 20.4 million damage threshold. So we did one key, this hard Hydra key. And with these champs that I'm using, you, you're probably thinking, well, you probably should um, one key anything. But um, I just, I have not focused Hydra as much, but maybe Artok, he is a fun champion. I love having all all AOE attacks. I think that's super fun. And I think his, his HP burn combustion is such a fun ability. It might make me want to build uh, higher pushing teams. I might shoot for Nightmare eventually or um, the higher level Hydra uh, clan bosses. But uh, will this come to an end soon? Now that we're fully topped up, um, I'm not thinking so. I think we still got more in us. So I'll actually let it play out at this point. I won't turn it off like I just did. Um, so I'll let you guys watch it through. And if you guys uh, want to see anything different in future videos, make sure you let me know below. I do want to make more free to play friendly content. I know this isn't exactly that, but I did want to focus on, on a champion that was more free to play since he was just given to us all for free. I know it's been a month, uh, about a month, and I'm, I'm probably behind on that, but this is just something that I haven't seen other creators do is just try to slot him in to their already existing teams, especially some of the more free to play creators, and just see if they can make him work and see how good he actually is for the average player. So um, I wanna make more content on rares. 
uh, some some epic, some some of the more farmable champs, and some champions that I think you guys should have on every account. And that's not going to be clickbait. Um, I'm not going to do what some of the other YouTubers do and just like uh, pick a random champion like um, a Acrilla or, or whatever that really bad champion is that is just like a a nuker. Um, and does, doesn't really do much else. Or a Phoenix, I think he's a great champion, but I don't think every comp should, or champ, every raid player should have one maxed out. Um, I'm just wanna, I wanna make the content that I think that you guys deserve and to uh, give you guys the best uh, step forward. What should you guys be focusing on every single account, not just the the end game ones that can waste the their books that they're getting from uh, Playerium and just throw them on a champion, tell everyone to, clickbait you should max a champion i want you guys to know the best champions for new player accounts and things like that so sorry about this rambling on um i'll go ahead and shut up and let this this run come to an end but thank you guys so much for the support um and i have plenty more planned for you guys to let me know if you have any ideas down below and anything that you want to see and make sure you're liking each other's comments uh there's not too many comments that are going to be coming on this new channel uh but make sure you guys like each other's comments to let me know what are the more popular ideas and what you guys want to see. And I'll see you guys um, at the end for the wrap up.
All right, so uh, we're back at the end of this run. It exceeded my expectations a ton. Um, I This is higher than my, my past highest key was, so this is already an improvement on what I had running before. Now, uh, part of that is due to Artok. He is the truth. He does a lot of damage, um, and part of that is also because Molly. I haven't really tried her in Hydra as much as I should have. I've, I've kind of just put her on my third team each week, but I kind of wanted to bump her up and see if she could do it, and she definitely could. Um, but Artok does so much damage. Look at that, 15 million. He did a, a, over half the damage himself. And these guys, they don't have horrible builds. They do okay damage for the support role as well. So he just brought in so much damage and um, it will only get higher based on the, the key that, level that you do. So the higher you go in, in Hydra, the more damage he's gonna be doing because that HP burn scales off of their HP. So I personally think Artok passed the test. Um, he did great, and I'll kind of focus more on his gear. Um, I'll throw some glyphs on his gear and maybe tweak it a bit and pull some off of my higher level, like Mitch Naki, for example. And I, I might give him another shot and see if I can push further in Hydra using him and using Razzlefar, using some of the new champions that I've gotten lately. So um, if you guys like this video, if you think our talk is the truth, uh, make sure you guys like it. Hit subscribe if you want to follow me and my content journey with Raid Shadow Legends because I got plenty more coming your way. Um, and sorry about the green screen. I haven't really got it all figured out yet, but hey, we're trying. We are out here trying. Um, and guys, I really appreciate the support. appreciate you guys clicking on this video and watching it to this point. I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.